Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be showing you that uh, how basically you can use angular with node.js and express to basically upload multiple files to your google drive folder this is my google drive folder currently it is empty right here and with this angular front end we will be uploading multiple files to this uh, google drive folder we will be using service account authentication for this purpose and inside our backend we have this service account authentication we are using malter to basically store all the uploaded files that we select using our this one so let me show you the demo here currently you can see the folder is empty let me choose some files here let me choose multiple files one two three four four png images i select here click on upload so as you will see guys basically one by one these files will be uploaded here the first file is uploaded you will see screenshot 1.png the second will will upload you will see one by one all the files will get uploaded you will see so we can also view this file here this file has successfully again uploaded this is a second file image file so this is not restricted to image file you can basically upload any file video file exe file app file image file so we are using angular for this in the last video i showed you how to basically use react chase we will now be using angular and uh, basically guys uh, now to start this process you need to basically in the last video also i showed you how to create that go to google cloud console and uh, basically here you need to create your service account so you need to basically create a project after you create a project you need to basically go to credentials and uh, here you need to create your service account click on this option and uh, after you just give it a random name to the service account which is sample like this and create and continue and then you need to grant permission simply select the owner role continue and uh, after that click on done and then you will get your own private key guys how to get this private key simply click the pencil icon and uh, then goes to the keys option and click on create new key and uh, select the json here and click on create so this will basically have your json file downloaded so this will be different for you so don't copy my information so this file will look something like this you need to open this inside your backend directory uh, i have already created that so this will create have this information here type is service account private key it will hold this private key this will different for you client email this will be different for you so this will be the file here you need to basically store this file inside your backend directory where you will be writing your node.js express code so all these files will get uploaded you we are using malter dependency here so all the source code guys i have given in the description of the video so if you need the full source code you can go to the description of the video to get all the source code so now let's get started so i will now delete all the source code from the back end and also this is my uh, angular project guys app.html let me also delete all the source code and start from scratch so basically guys uh, uh, let me delete all this source code and start from scratch but this is a basic htm uh, angular app you will see it is running on local host 4200 if i refresh now angular app and my express application is running on local host 5000 so now to get started here first of all what i will do i will basically write our uh, express code here we will start our express application so we will say that express we need to require express and then we will require google apis so let me just walk you through guys which dependencies we are using we are using course module which is used for allowing uh, preventing the cross origin resource sharing error install this as a middleware express google apis and malter these are the four dependencies we are using in this project so right here we will basically extract google from uh, google apis and also we will need malter and then we will also need these two dependencies which is path 
and the course module as well and after that we also need the file system module guys which is used for reading the file and we will basically start this application on 5000 arrow function we, here we will say that uh, app is listening on 5000 so after this guys what we need to do basically create a uploads directory where all our files will get uploaded once you select using angular and after you do that uh, we will make basically have the storage so malter contains this method disk storage and here you will provide the destination which is uploads and the file name will be a callback function which will hold these three parameters so basically guys uh, here we will have the extension here we will extract the extension using the original name of the file and we will split this using dot and then we will use the pop method and then we will use this callback function to basically let me just paste this code I have in the previous video also I written the same code guys for the express so backend server will remain the same you will see it will automatically give a new name to the file every time it is uploaded so then now you can simply say malter you can provide the storage to storage that we define right here and now we will pass the course middleware guys course middleware and now we will basically write the post request to upload the file so now inside our angular front end guys basically instead of having this uh, h1 tag we will basically have a simple form where the user will select the file we will simply change this heading to upload multiple files to google drive so here we will basically have an input field input type is file we will give it an id of file input and multiple so here the files the user can select multiple files and also guys we will basically attach a on change event handler so when the files is selected by the user this function will automatically trigger handle file select and here we will pass file input that's all we are passing the reference that we given right here guys file input that you can see right here and lastly we will basically have a button guys which will actually upload the files for us so we will have this button which is uh, upload and uh, we will give it an on click listener to it so when we click this button we will execute this uh, method which is upload files that's all now we need to make these methods guys so right here go to first of all app.module.ts file guys so here we need to have our http client module so just add this http client module inside your imports array and we also need to import this service in order to use http inside our angular at the rate angular slash common slash http that's all so this after that just go to your app.component.ts file and right here guys you will write our code here so first of all we will have the view child view child and here we will give the so we have given this uh, similarly if you check guys app.component.html this is the reference that we given file input we are also passing this reference to this function so that's why we have declared right here the spelling needs to be the same and uh, this is file input and it is of the type element ref put a semicolon and this will be a file array it will be empty by default and we will basically have a constructor guys and this will be private http and it will hold http client the service we will use http client it will automatically gets imported you will see at the top here visual studio code automatically does it for me and we will now write this function guys handle file select 
this function will automatically trigger whenever your files have been changed so file input any and here we will simply say a function uh, we will select the files file input question mark dot files so this will get all the files which the user has selected and then we will have if condition files dot length is greater than zero if the user has selected multiple files in that case we will say file input question mark sorry we will say array we will create an array from the files that we have this will create an array guys so this needs to be this dot files not we have this variable this dot files so we are initializing it that's all so after this guys uh, we initiated this method guys you will see this function will execute handle file select whenever your files have been changed so we have written this function so now we need to define this function upload files so when the button is clicked we need to basically uh, upload these files so you'll say upload files of the type void and inside this you will compare again if this dot files dot length is greater than zero in that case we know that multiple files are there so again we will use form data guys in the last video also we used form data with react chairs so form data we will create an object here and this dot files dot for each loop we will use now for each file what we will do right here we will use an arrow function we will append this form data it contains append method guys and files we will append the actual file and the file name as well like this you can see that this is a syntax and after doing this guys we will basically make a post request to the endpoint http local host 5000 your backend server is running on that slash upload and then we will pass the form data that's all we need to subscribe this to this subscribe you will get the response and we will say that uh, files uploaded successfully we will also can show the response guys like this slash comma response that's all if any sort of error take place we will have the error callback and we can say that console error error uploading files that's all so this is basically the front end code guys and also we need to clear out the input as well so just after this we will define a function clear file input so when the files are uploaded we just need to say this dot file input dot native element dot value is equal to null and this dot files is equal to null as empty as well so that's all clear file input i think we are not calling this function so we need to call this function after we get the response so we will call this function clear file input that's all so now guys we need to basically go to index.js if i see my angular application you will see basically this has this front end now we need to define this post request that we are sending it from our angular front end if you see we are sending this post request we need to define this slash upload so right here you will define this app dot post slash upload request response this will be a async function and also guys here we need to say upload array and files and uh, here what we will do we need to actually upload the files here we need to define the logic this will be a async function so files basically guys this is the actual name parameter that we given right here inside app.component.ts file if you see we have given form data appending we are appending files here so this needs to be the same here so whatever put here you need to replicate it here also right here so just make sure and after this guys we will say that we will append this using try catch so inside try catch guys 
we will simply make uh, new google auth dot google auth and here you will pass the key file which is in the same directory key dot json and the scopes scopes is nothing but what sort of information that you need to access it. so we are only need to access the google drive authentication so we will say slash auth slash drive so you can perform all sort of operations inside your google drive and then we will say we need to upload the google drive and version you need to provide version 3 auth so now we can basically perform any sort of method here we can upload delete all that so we can basically create a method uploaded files which will be empty by default and then we will basically use a for loop for all the files which are coming so i request dot files dot length this will basically hold all the request sorry files which are there we are using a for loop for each file we are getting the file here and then we will basically upload this so await drive dot files dot create so this contains a create method it also has delete as well so we will create the method or upload the file it contains a request body guys it's an object here we need to provide three properties the name of the file which is file dot original name the mem type file dot mem type and the parents parents is actually the folder name guys the id of the folder that we created so go to your google drive and basically here this is your folder id simply paste the folder id guys copy this so create a folder and paste the folder id that's all and the last pa parameter it takes is the media which is actual file which is body so here you'll use file system create read stream file dot path that's all and after that guys we will say that uploaded files dot push response dot data that's all and now we will simply pass this to the uh, front end of the JSON, uh, angular response json and we will pass a files property which is uploaded files array of files which are uploaded that's all so this is your back end code guys which is completed the application is complete if you are doing it for the very first time in the last video i repeated this so simply click on the share button guys if you uh, doing it for the very first time click the share option and add this your test account so your test account is nothing but uh, go to your key.json file uh, basically this is your test test account which is client email you need to add this account guys simply copy this account and basically paste it right here just paste it here and click on send so this will grant the permission so i have already added this account here that's why it is working so let me remove all the files here uh, so now if i try to basically upload some files if i select this first file click on upload so you will see that this file will get uploaded you will see screenshot this is the file that i uploaded right here so our application is perfectly working guys you can also upload multiple files let me select these uh, 10 files click upload so one by one these files get uploaded so you will see so if you have a bulk files you can even upload them to your google drive using service account so we are used angular for this guys using node.js express we have also used malter fetch as well you know to make request so thank you very much guys for watching this video the link the source code is given in the description of the video you can check out and thank you very much for watching this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well